Hi, I'm Kim Jamison Hurst. Welcome to Chatterbox Quilts. When you're looking for a vintage sewing machine, there are hundreds of models to choose from. And it can be very confusing when you're looking at them, first off to know what machine you're looking at, and secondly, to figure out how much you should be paying for that machine. As an example, I wanted to look at these three machines because the price points between them can be huge, hundreds of dollars, if not maybe a little bit more, depending on where you're buying it from. So let's take a look at what these models are and then I'll explain the price differences. So what I have here, these two machines look very similar, don't they? These are Singer Featherweights and there are two models of them, the 221 and the 222. Even between these two machines, which look very similar, there can be a huge price difference. Not can be, there is a huge price difference. The 221 in my area will average around $350 for one in good shape. The 222 has a huge variance in price. I've seen them for $500. I've seen them for $1,200. It depends on what someone's willing to pay for them, but they are definitely more expensive than the 221. And there's a reason why. They're rare. They were only produced for about eight years, so a very limited production run. So you're gonna find that they are always going to cost you more than the 221. Now these little featherweights here, as you can see, are much smaller than this one, which is a 301. Some people call the 301 the sister to the featherweights, and I really disagree with that one. Maybe they call them the sister because they have the same bobbin case. Strangely enough, it has a little bobbin case, looks just like this, the ones you use in these two machines. But it's a totally different machine. Straight stitch, just like they are, but you can see it looks much, much different. Different, I should say. And it's a portable, yes, like they are. It'll come out of its cabinet and it stands on its own. But the price point on this one is much different than the featherweight models. The 301s you can get for probably about $100. In my area, $100, $120 thereabouts is probably the average price you'll pay much different from 350 and say five or $600. So you can see why it's really important to know what kind of machine you're looking at, what is the model, and also to be knowledgeable about the pricing on those models. Lucky for you, I've done my research and I've created a free download for you. It's a pricing guide to vintage sewing, mach sewing machines. Sorry, let's say that again. It's a pricing guide to vintage sewing machines. And I've put a link in the video, so you can just click on the link and it'll take you to where you can download that free printable guide. And I'm sure you're gonna find that very helpful when you're looking for vintage sewing machines to make sure that you'll have an idea of what the price should be on the particular model you're looking for.